We're so glad to have all of you with us here tonight. Uh, I'm Sarah Tackett, and I'm the Executive Director and CEO of the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce. And what a joy it brings to my heart to see all of you wonderful people here together tonight as we honor our business community. Uh, this is, I'm finishing my second year at the helm of the Chamber, and a year ago when we honored uh, our businesses, we had about 75 last year that were achieving a milestone event, we had to have a very small, intimate gathering, three different sessions at the Strady Center. We couldn't gather all of us together. And this just brings me great joy to see all of you here tonight as we celebrate. We're honoring our outstanding organizations and leaders who are making a difference now and in the future of our community. First, I'd like to thank our top tier sponsors, whom you can see on our banner listed over there. Uh, and they're also listed inside of our program. These are the members of our chamber who generously sponsor your chamber to ensure that events like this can continually be a success. And we truly appreciate all of your support of the Defiance Area Chamber. We would also like to thank Grant's Catering for the delicious appetizers and meal we're about to enjoy, all occasions for the wonderful decorations, Miller's Textiles for their generous donation of the table linens and napkins. Bellbird Photography and Design. There she is. Here's Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Am I, is that subtle? Am I being subtle enough for you? Uh, she's capturing all of our memories this evening, and we certainly appreciate that. DCTV, our friends there, are videotaping our event tonight. And we'd like to thank the KFC Hall and all their staff for the use of the hall and providing us with bartending folks. Um, also, we'd like to thank Northwest Ohio Welch Trophy and Stanball Jewelers for producing our beautiful awards for the evening. Uh, let's give all these incredible people a round of applause and thank them for all they do for our community and the team. I also like to say the beautiful decor, a red carpet, sequins, and she be better of a night, right? It makes me very happy. At this time, I'd like to recognize all the dignitaries that might be with us this evening. Please stand as I announce your name and remain standing. And hold your applause until the end, if you would please. Our City of Defiance Mayor, Mike McCann. Thank you. Our United States Congressman, Robert Lattis, Representative, Kathy Peterson. State Representative Craig Weedle is with us. Defiance right. County Economic Development Director Erica Willitzer. Her staff is here as well. I think Erica had to step out for another meeting, but we have Sonia and uh, Courtney from her office as well. Our Defiance County Prosecutor Morris Murray is with us. <laughs> County Commissioner Ryan Mack. And are there any other dignitaries that have joined us that I've missed? Well, thank you all, the special guests, for joining us tonight. Let's give them a round of applause for their service. <laughs> Next, and most important of all, we'd like to thank our members in helping honoring those receiving the awards this evening. And now, I'd like to offer a blessing over our meal. If you please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to gather here tonight to honor these amazing businesses and individuals that mean so much to our community. We ask for your continued protection and blessing upon our community, our county, our state, and nation. Bless this food to be nourished into our bodies and give us a good evening together. In your name we pray. Amen. If we could have everyone take their seats and we can get started. Good evening, my name is Steve Furness. I am your 2021 uh, Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce, Commerce uh, Chairman. I hope everyone has enjoyed their meals today. If we could start off by giving a round of applause to uh, Grant's Catering Service for the wonderful meal. <laughs> Next on behalf of everyone here, I'd like to thank the people that are behind the scenes that help make this uh, possible. If uh, Sarah, 
and uh, Jessica could please stand up. Sarah is our executive uh, CEO and director, and uh, Jessica West is our marketing and events coordinator. Thank you both for all your hard work. And at this time, we would like to begin our annual meeting. Uh, I will now call to order the 2021 annual meeting. We will start off by reviewing the 2020 annual meeting minutes as are shown on the screen. If there are any corrections to be made or comments. Seeing none, if I could get a motion to approve those minutes. Motion by Karen McCoy. Second by Ray Meyer. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, same sign. I will next invite our chair, or treasurer, excuse me, Karen McCoy to the stand. Good evening, the Finance Area Chamber members. Um, if you'll observe on the overhead projection, um, the 2020 financial statements that were prepared by Luderman and Kantz. Um, for 2020 year in, we had net assets valued at 148000 in $959 with restricted balance of $1,372. Um, 2020 was a very difficult year for the Chamber. Um, due to COVID restrictions, um, many of the Chamber's um, annual fundraising events were significantly impacted due to either complete cancellations or even reduced participation by being held virtually. So 2020 was also a one had one-time expenses with the relocation of the offices and that totaled $7,828. So for 2020, the total revenue reported is $155,434. The total expenses for 2020 reported is $195,339. So that's a 2020 change in net assets reported of 39,905 reduction. So being a 501c6 organization, there really wasn't much relief for, available for the chamber during the 2020 COVID pandemic year. Um, fortunately, the Paycheck Protection Program was opened up for the Chamber to apply in 2021, and the loan was submitted in early April. It was approved, and it was just forgiven last month on August 24th, and that was the total of $25,012 that will be deposited and recorded in 2021. So, if you would like to review the prepared financial report, um, please feel free to stop at the offices and contact Sarah. Um, but that's what I have to report, so if I can ask for a motion to approve. Thank you, Bill. Second. Thank you, Ray. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, same. Thank you. <coughs> This time we'd like to take uh, a moment to recognize one of the bright spots that we as board members and especially the executive board uh, get to partake in uh, during the course of, of our duties. Uh, in 2020, we were able to hand out two uh, foundation scholarships. Uh, our scholarship winners uh, were Kara Retcher uh, from Ayersville and Andrew Frederick from Defiance. Our selection committee looks for examples of strong leaders uh, academic standings and extracurricular activities throughout the community. Uh, we also received letters of recommendation backing uh, those individuals. Uh, it's an honor to give back to our community by awarding local students with this scholarship to further their education. Please join us in congratulating Kara and Andrew in receiving those awards. A little background, Kara is a 2021 graduate of Ayersville High School. She is currently pursuing a degree in mathematics and actuarial science at Trine University in Angola, Indiana. Andrew Frederick is a 2021 graduate from Defiance High School. He is currently pursuing a degree in business and political science at Olivet Nazarene University in Illinois. Now let's move on to some old and new business. The board has received nominations for our 2022 Board of Directors. I will read the nominees' uh, names that are present, and if you would please stand up once your name is called. Brett Decker, Desiree Eisenman, Maureen Killian, Kirstie Mack, 
and Randy Mitchell. I would like at this time to have a motion to approve Brett, Desiree, Marine, Kirstie, and Randy to the 2022 Board of Directors, if I could have that motion. Sorry, Dan Herko, and then Steve Hubbard, second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, same sign. That motion is carried, and congratulations to our new board members. This time, I would ask for a motion to adjourn the general meeting. Motion by Karen McCoy, by a second. Second by Phil Constant. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed, you can leave. <laughs> At this time, we would uh, now like to start to hand out some awards. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our 2021 Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. If you would all please stand. I believe there are 15 of us in attendance here today. Thank you for your volunteerism, your commitment to continually advancing the professional community of Defiance. And let's please give them a round of applause for all that they do. We would now like to acknowledge our retiring board of director members. When I call your name, please come forward and receive your award. Mickey Zedike is unable to be with us today, and we will be providing her with her award at a later time. Karen McCoy, outgoing board member and current treasurer. <laughs> Kelly Rashley. Kelly has served as a treasurer of the executive board, and she is happy to be leaving us. <laughs> we are happy to have her. <laughs> Bill Scholl. Bill is our current secretary. You have him to thank for your minutes. And he's thrilled to no longer be here. <laughs> On behalf of the Board of Directors and the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce, I would like to thank all of you for your years of service to our community and membership. Thank you very much. I would now like to introduce the 2022 Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce Executive Board Officers. Uh, will you please stand once I call your name? Our Incoming chairperson moving from vice chair is Ray Myers. Moving into the vice chair position is Lori McCann. I will serve as the past chair. Adam Bates will serve as our secretary. And Rob Warren has graciously agreed to be our treasurer. He's unable to be here tonight. Your officers for the 2022 board of directors Thank you, and let's uh, thank them for their willingness to serve. Now it's time to present some awards. Uh, let us welcome our past chair, Chris Schweitzer, uh, to the podium to uh, hand out some business achievements awards. Thank you, Steve. Tonight's awards will be given to businesses and individuals who have continued to support their community. Once your name is called, please walk the red carpet to come accept your award from Sarah Tackett. Then please head to the back where Taylor from Bellberg Photography will take your picture in front of the chamber banner. At this time, I'd like to ask you to turn your attention to the screen as we honor the 2021 Business Achievement Awards. A Little Chiropractic Center.
Buckeye Roofing and Exteriors, LLC. Defiance Main Stop. And Science Pub. PMA USA, Jacob Fry. Pugsley Audio, LLC. Time Stamping. Wooden Indian Pawn and Gun. <laughs> Celebrating 10 years would be the Andrew L. Tuttle Memorial Museum. <laughs> Oral Flux Creative. Deal Cleaning Solution, LLC. <laughs> Jersey's Game Day Grill. Jill E. Klinger, Agency Nationwide Insurance. Northwest Ohio Welch Trophy. Ohioans Home Healthcare. So very LLC. Sweetwater Chop House. Defiance Development and Visitors Bureau. <laughs> Gomez Real Estate Appraisal, LLC. <laughs> Celebrating 20 years, Myra J, a salon.
Smitley CPA Services. Congratulations to all those businesses on their milestone achievement. At this time, Sarah Tackett will now announce our first two 40 Under 40 award winners. Thank you, Chris. The four Under 40 awards are intended for individuals who have distinguished themselves in their profession and or career. It is meant to inspire young leaders in our community to excel to their full potential. When your name is called, please come forward to receive your award. The first 4 Under 40 award winner is Brett Wagner. Congratulations to Brett. Our next four under 40 award winner is Jenna Carr. Jenna is an associate vice president and trust administrator at Premier Bank. Jenna was admitted to the Ohio State Bar in 2010, was a staff attorney for Franklin County Probate Court from 2010 to 2012, was an associate attorney in Columbus, Ohio, specializing in trusts and estates, and then joined Premier Bank, where she became an associate vice president. Jenna's other activities include being a board member of the Defiance Park and Run, chairman of Americanism Committee for the BFW Auxiliary, and past chair and current board member for the Defiance Development and Visitors Bureau. Congratulations to Jenna. Steve Burns to our stage. At this time, I'd ask that you turn your attention back to the screen as we honor our remaining 2021 Business Achievement Awards. 35 years in business, CPC Women's Health Resource. Northtown Mall Merchants. <laughs> Rath Builders Supply Incorporated. <laughs> Remax Realty of Defiance Incorporated. <laughs> Black Swamp Equipment for 40 years. Also recognizing 40 years Defiance Water Recreation. <laughs> Foods for Living. <laughs> Row Crop Incorporated. <laughs> Celebrating 45 years of service, C.R. Hunt Incorporated Painting Contractor. McCarthy Honda Kawasaki. And Sigmund's Siding and Window Specialists, LLC. Celebrating 50 years is Starks Plumbing and Heating Services. Celebrating 55 years are BioArts Architects Incorporated, <laughs> the Defiance Dental Group, <laughs> the Fort Defiance Humane Society, <laughs> and Will. 
William J. Finn Income Tax Services. <laughs> Celebrating 60 years in business, Howard Painting Incorporated. <laughs> Stipend Trucks Incorporated. Celebrating 70 years, Cheap Supermarket Incorporated. The Hubbard Company. Uptown Bike Shop. Celebrating 75 years, First Insurance Group. <laughs> Maumee Valley Vending Company. <laughs> McDonald's Design and Build Incorporated. Mercury Cleaners. <laughs> Miller's Textile Services. <laughs> and Sedgwick. <laughs> Celebrating 80 years is the Defiance Lions Club. Celebrating 85 years is Grant Insurance Agency Incorporated. <laughs> Arps Dairy Incorporated. <laughs> Defiance Metal Products, Met. <laughs> Celebrating 95 years of service. Professional Vision Services, LLC. <laughs> Celebrating 100 years of service, Baker Schindler Contracting Company. Celebrating 105 years of service, the Ayersville Telephone Company. Also, Mark Moe's Ford Incorporated. Celebrating 115 years is the Sherwood Mutual Telephone Association. Celebrating 155 years is Sharon Williams. And finally, celebrating 175 years is the First Baptist Church. Congratulations to all of those outstanding businesses. We welcome back Sarah Tackett to announce our remaining four under 40 award winners.
a certified safety trained supervisor through the Board of Certified Safety Professionals, and is a member of the Keller Logistics Group Innovation Team. Sarah is also a past president of the Zonta Club. Congratulations, Sarah. by this couple, and it's a real honor to ask them to join us here on the stage. So with Terry and Ann Melton. Defiance Public Library levies, 
Finance Committee member for St. Mary Holy Cross Catholic School, St. Mary's Catholic Church High School Religious Education Teacher, member of the Holy Cross Catholic School Development Fund Committee, Restoring the Glory Committee at St. Mary's Catholic Church. You must be Catholic. <laughs> member of Defiant City Council Charter Review Committee, which is a lot of fun. I would encourage all of you to be part of that sometime. Member of Defiance Optimist Club, member of Defiance High School Project Crown Committee, member of the Knights of Columbus, member of the Defiance Alps, member of AICPA, member of Ohio Society of CPAs, member of the Marist Commission for Economic Development, member of Search Committee for the Principal of Holy Cross Catholic School, mentored new teachers at the Defiance Middle School and Elementary School, longtime volunteer at the Miss Northwestern Ohio Scholarship Pageant, member of the Defiance Tree Commission, Member of the Defiance Downtown Christmas Decorating Committee. I forgot that when you do such a marvelous job. It's folks like Ann that make our downtown look like it does during the holidays. It does a marvelous job. And there's a lot more coming right out here. Yeah. Get out the checkbook, John. <laughs> Member of the Capital Campaign for St. Mary's Church. This couple took their support a step further and also held the following leadership positions. Chairman of the Defiance Area YMCA Capital Development Committee. Leadership role in following YMCA campaigns on the initial building, the pool, the gymnastic center, youth center and large gymnasium, major renovation including the new weight room and exercise room. Campaign chairman for the last two YMCA campaigns, president of the YMCA Board of Directors, 1984 and 2000, co-chair of United Way campaign, 1983, St. Mary's Catholic Church President of the Parish Council, Finance Chair of St. Mary's Catholic Church, Leadership Roles for Capital Campaigns for St. Mary Church Ministry, Chairman of the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce Downtown, Revitalization, Revitalization Committee, President of the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce Board 1992, President of the Rotary Club, Co-Chair of Defiance 2000 Project, President of the Defiance 2000 Steering Committee, President of the Defiance County Unit of the American Cancer Society, this couple has also previously been awarded the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce Leadership Award in 1996, the Defiance High School Band of Class Outstanding Service Award in 1989, YMCA Volunteer of the Year Award two times, 1980 and 1989, Bowling Green State University Beta Alpha Psi, Accounting Club Recognition of Outstanding alumni, alumni 1994, Defiance Area Chamber of Quality Life Award 2007. Obviously, you guys get the bill. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. This community thanks you. And somewhere, right here. We have a little plate. And if you'd like a logo of some sort, golly, we wouldn't be able to fit all these. We'd be happy to have that taken care of for you. And uh, our foundation, and Lori and I personally, will make sure that a nice contribution is made to the charity or charities of your choice. So congratulations.
Congratulations, Terry and Anne. Something fun is that Anne thought she was providing information for Terry to be honored tonight. So she too was truly surprised. So it's wonderful. And now it's time to present the Quality of Life Award. The Quality of Life Award recognizes the significant and sometimes lifelong contributions that an individual, business, or organization provides to the quality of life in our community. This year's honoree was born in Macomb, Ohio, the youngest of two children. His father was an educator, and his family moved to different communities following his father's career path. He was in the seventh grade when they arrived in Lipsick, Ohio, where his father became a superintendent. Our honoree graduated from Lipsick High School in 1966. He attended Bowling Green State University, where he earned both a Bachelor of Arts in Education and Master's in Specialist degrees. Also during that time, he married his wife. He then began what would become a 35-year career in education in Ohio. He taught fifth grade in Bowling Green for two years, then sixth grade in Lima for two years, while becoming their assistant principal. He then advanced to K-12 principal at Bettsville before finding his home in 1976 at Brickle Elementary School, where he remained for 29 years before his retirement in 2005. Each of those 29 years, he led a team of nearly two dozen teachers and staff and was responsible for around 365 students each year which adds up to literally thousands of children. I know many of us who had children attend Brickle will be forever, will forever have fond memories of his smiling face. And we knew that our children were in good hands, and he was so proud of the school and of his students.
family show has helped with that. About 15 years ago, our honoree began to volunteer to photograph student sports after a student asked him to come and take his picture. And then another asked him. And then another. And since then, he has taken photos of nearly every sports team that his beloved defiance. He takes 50 to 100 pictures per game for multiple sports. In fact, Jeff and I just talked to him last night at our daughter Anna's tennis match. He posts these photos on Facebook, often tagging the parents, and then posts the rest on his website, literally thousands of memories captured over the past 15 years of sports teams in action student spectators in the stands, the band, and more. All available to the students and parents and the school yearbook staff. The students and their parents and the school administration became so grateful to him for his volunteer work that he was honored with the Pride of the Bulldogs Award in 2017. Although those of us who met him through his Ripple days, both his former students like our boys and their parents, may still call him Mr. Lada. Today, all the students call him Jerry for his lifelong service to educating, encouraging, and supporting young people. I am honored to present to you our 2021 Quality of Life Award winner, Jerry Lada. Says, 
which activities do you consider your greatest worth? And he said, I pay my way, not only financially, but through service to people in the community. This is the first time I stand up here without my mom. She died on May 6th this year. And I was helping some friends last night on the south side, and if you were behind me when I turned into the uh, cemetery, I apologize, because I don't think I used my signal, and I don't know what possessed me, but I just did. And when I looked at my folks' headstone, my only thought were, was that they were a couple. They were partners. They were successful on their own because they were together. Isn't it special that this year's recipient of the Michael A. Schultz Leadership Award is actually a partnership, a couple? Two very special people whose beauty starts deep within their soul and it radiates outward to their actions and their love, not only for each other, but also for the community of defiance. It pleases me to share my dad's personal mission statement. I believe these two people live by it every day. I will strive to live each day so as to leave this world a better place for me having been here. To help me achieve this mission, I will think and act positively in all facets of my life, and I will invest my discretionary time and my talents in formulating positive and meaningful relationships. These two partners exist every day living out my dad's personal mission statement. This world is a better place because of them being in it. They think and they act positively, and they get their work and passions accomplished by formulating positive and meaningful relationships with others. Please welcome these two people, very deserving people, as this year's Michael A. Schultz Leadership Award recipients, Mike and Lori McCann. Garrett, 
Beckham, Liam, and Betty. Both Lori and Mike are members of St. Paul's Lutheran Church, the church I grew up in. Besides leading as the city of mayor, Mike is currently the supervisor of the football official assignments for the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference and the Great Lakes Valley Conference. He's retired for over 20 years from college football officiating. In addition to his work in the collegiate ranks, Mike also officiated more than 20 years at the high school level. Mike also spent many years officiating high school basketball. Mike is also a certified continuing education trainer for insurance professionals in the state of Ohio. Now we got Lori, also girl power. In October, Lori will be starting her 47th year of service and leadership at Defiance Mercy Clinic. Lori is always at Mike's side for almost every community and city event and fully supports the many hats that Mike wears. She is a special lady. She actually received the Catherine um, McCauley Award, which that woman founded the Sisters of Mercy and is dedicated to the life and the service of others. Both Mike and Lori have been longtime residents of the Defiance community. They found the Good Citizen Award. Over several years, they've made contributions to Clothes for Kids, the Defiance Dream Center, Lifeways Academy, the Defiance Splash Park, Kids Creation, Kingsbury Park Pickleball Courts. Say that one. Kingsbury Park Pickleball Courts. The Defiance County Humane Society, Caitlin's Cottage, Chairman of the Alzheimer's Association, and Team Captain for Relay for Life. Mike and Lori's license plates say, have you seen them? L-U-V, D-E-F-I, Love, Defy. They both love the city of Defiance and want nothing but the best for their community. Mike is the leader of a successful business that has been supporting Defiance for over 52 years, Service Master by McCann. He recently purchased mercury cleaners to keep the business operational in Defiance and also the Defiance Cleaners Building in hopes of a possible new business building offering. Mike continues to lead the city as the mayor from January 2016, and he keeps focusing on improving the quality of life for Defiance citizens. As mayor, Mike's goal is to strengthen every aspect in the Defiance community to continue to make Defiance a great place to live, work, and play. The city parks were well used during COVID, most of which have brand new playground equipment installed and improvements continue to be made. He spends the majority of his time as mayor looking for ways to, one, increase the quality of life for defined citizens. He's done that with Splash Park, updates to the city parks, the Reservoir Nature Trail, the walkability around the community, just to name a few. Two, he wants to create an environment to promote economic development. Examples are the spec building, the Harmon Business Park of Defiance. Three, to work on new housing opportunities and initiatives. He suggested a housing committee that's very successful today, bringing in all the players to the table to get more housing accomplished in Defiance. Four, to revitalize neighborhoods, the East Side neighborhood, Carnes Avenue and the East Side Park. Five, to improve gateways into the city, new welcome signage, the conceptual gateway park idea, and the East Side roundabout and street improvements. Mike leaves the Community Strategic Planning Committee team, which meets every other month, to continue to fulfill its mission and vision statement within the six pillars, of con the six pillars. that's connectivity, economic development, health and wellness, perception, culture, and education, and finally housing, all of which are quality of life pillars in this community and have top community experts leading each pillar to carry out the plan of defiance. Prior to this election, Mayor Mike received the served as City Council President for two years, from 2014 to 2016. He has also been a member of the Charter Review Committee, the City Park Board and Planning Commission, and has served on the County Park Board. Mike is currently a board member of the Defiance County Community Improvement Corporation Board of Directors. Also a member of the Defiance Hall of Fame Committee, the Defiance 2100 Group, Defiance Rotary Club, the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce, and the Republican Party and Politician. Mike makes it a point to accept all invitations for speaking engagements, give welcome, gives welcome addresses for community events, and tries to attend all city and community functions. On her own, Lori has significant contributions to the community as well. Just to name a few, she's a board member of the Defiance Area Foundation, the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce, a member of the 2013 Advisory Committee, the Women's Giving Circle, 
the Northwest Ohio Realtors Association, and the Republican Women. Lori is a very active member in our community as well, and her leadership is an asset to this community. Mike and Lori, on behalf of Michael A. Schultz's family, we're proud of you. And we want to thank you for your service to the community. Congratulations. Thank you, Rachel. This isn't why I thought we were here tonight. <laughs> and you're right, Jerry, it is hard. And Doug, I'm sorry I thought you might win the 4 under 40 this year. <laughs> um, you know, wow. That's, I need to take that list with me so I know what to do tomorrow. Um, you don't accomplish this, obviously, without a great life. My mother frequently would remind my father that it was behind every successful man was that woman driving, and that's her. Five great kids that understood that dad had to do things beyond being a dad. Um, a great community. The support that we've gotten in the five and a half years that I've been married has been unbelievable. These guys that I work with sitting over here, you couldn't put together a better group of folks. A lot goes on. I know government's supposed to be fully transparent. You should know everything that we do. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And I'm very optimistic about things that are coming up here. And to th the whole story behind the fortune cookie, and this is how I close because I'll know I'm standing between you and the door. Um, and I've been where you are. Um, the, the whole thing behind the fortune cookie thing about it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that will determine your attitude. Well, Sarah had asked me a month or so ago to give the welcome at the leadership classes that they're currently holding in the chamber, which is a wonderful thing to do. And I was just, I pulled out a credit card out of my wallet and this fortune fell out. It was nasty looking colors. It, it uh, looked like it was a little moldy and it kind of smelled, to be honest with you. And I, I thought, well, gosh, I looked at it, and that was what it said, which explained why, at some point, I put that in there. Yesterday, we had Chinese. And I have some good news for you. At least, I think it's good news. I hope it's right. Your present plans are going to succeed within the year. Thank you very much. over the program to our 2022 board chairman, Ray Myers. It is my distinct honor to present, to present Steve uh, with a plaque commemorating his year of service and leadership as the 2021 board chairman. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors and vendors who made this evening possible. Uh, to our outgoing board members, thank you for your service. And to those serving in 2022, welcome to the board and thank you in advance for your dedication and service. Uh, thank you to all our chamber members for joining us and celebrating with us tonight. Thank you to the Defiance Area Chamber of Commerce staff, Sarah and Jessica, for all your hard work. This was fantastic event. And thank you all for coming out this evening. Please drive safely and have a great night. Good job.